every single place on earth, even if you're on like the seventh floor or sixth floor or fifth floor or the place across the street or the place below it, every place has its unique fingerprint. And so every time that someone goes around and does something in one of our apps, uploads a photo or likes a place or checks in or whatnot, it's adding to that data set saying like, oh, this is what that Starbucks looks like. This is all the signals that we see in it. And so over the last couple of years, we've been building a piece of technology uh, that we've been using in our own internal apps, in the Foursquare app and the Swarm app. So as people walk around, we can start sending you notifications. Oh, you just walked into the store. This is what you need to know about. Oh, you just walked into Baltazar. This is what you need to order. Uh, and that is what we've been calling Pilgrim. Uh, the big move this year has been opening that up so other developers can use that superpower of ours so that they can have that same type of functionality in their app that you know, if you bring the Nike app into a shoe store, something happens. If you bring the Starbucks app into a Dunkin' Donuts, something happens. If you bring your beer lovers app into a brewery, something lights up. And so that type of stuff has been really interesting for us in terms of you know, we take the superpower that we've had, and we've only had it in our two apps, and now we're bringing it and, and allowing pretty much any, well, we will be eventually, any developers that want to take advantage of that stuff and build those types of, of features using that. You just opened that up in March, but you already have a Capital One, some, some mm -hmm. sort of really interesting people that are using it. Can you talk a little bit specifically about what they're doing? So uh, what the Pilgrim SDK does is allow background, that superpower, background awareness, yep. as opposed to the 100,000 developers that we're already using our data sets in the foreground. So we've given kind of the phone in your pocket intelligence to other apps. So the way Capital One and lots of other developers are using it is, you know, people, they want people to use the Capital One mobile wallet. And so it smartly uh, and dis you know, discreetly, if you're at a gas station, it will say, hey, double Capital One rewards points this month on gas, if that's true. Or you walk into a Sephora and it'll say, you know, hey, triple, triple Capital One rewards points if you use your mobile wallet on beauty purchases this week. And so, but it's it's the right time, the right place. It's useful content. We we advise you know all of our developers. You can't bother people unless you have something really valuable to say, um, or else they'll shut you off very quickly. And we've learned that because we send millions of personal right. tips each day to our own users. We've learned we've learned that you know that kind of like apocryphal story of we'll be walking around and there'll be Starbucks coupons bouncing at us that is told at every marketing conference for the last decade. You know, that's actually a nightmare <laughs> dystopia. And, uh, um, and, and so uh, you know, we're very thoughtful about it. We wait until someone's actually stopped and spent a few mis minutes at a business. We want to be sure they're not just walking by. And then you only talk to them if they have something really valuable to say.